All right, so today is the day that I introduce you to the new member of the Suburbia Dad family. Let me introduce you to Mr. 52. Let's do it. All right, so here's the deal. I had to wait for the delivery of my new mower. It's come, but here's what I ended up swapping out for. So check it out. So I ended up getting an Arians Icon XD52 and I bought it for several reasons. So let me take you through the reasons why I chose this one over some of the other ones at this price point. All right, so the first reason was because it has a four point deck, one, two, and then it's got two on the other side, which really stabilizes the deck. But in terms of like balancing this thing, it's really easy, but you can see like there's really no wiggle on the deck when you just push on it which I really did like. So that's the first reason. The second reason was because this deck is 11 gauge steel, fabricated. Um, it is solid and heavy duty, and I feel like it's gonna last a long time and do a really, really nice job. So that was reason number two. Reason number three was I could get a 24 horsepower Kohler. Um, yeah, they have the Kawasaki's that went up to a 23 horsepower, uh, but I have no issues with the Kohler and quite frankly, once you get up to this type of engine, I don't think I'm gonna have really any issues with this thing. Reason number four, I like the idea of being able to mow up to four and a half inches and I like this quick adjustment dial. That seems like it's gonna make it real easy to, you know, adjust the height when I'm mowing. Now I also like these front casters. They're real beefy, so I do like that. I feel like those will hold up really well. Five, six, I don't remember what number I'm on. These armrests on here, I think those are nice. The seat on this is very comfortable, um, so I do like that. I like the deep pockets on the side. Um, when you're looking underneath, um, I do like it has this catch for the seat so it doesn't just fall forward. There's just a lot of features on this thing that I like. Um, I like the look from the side profile, and I like how low it sits to the ground. It just looks mean to me, so I love it. Now I went ahead and got the trailer hitch attachment so I can hook my Gorilla cart to the back. I also got the floor mat so that I'm not just standing on the steel pan. Now I do like this roll bar. I don't know how functional it is, but I do think it helps the appearance of the the tractor, so I do like that roll bar. I think this was a great design to put the gas filler on the outside, so if I have gas spill out, and I love these tires. Look at the width of those. This is a good width compared to my lawn tractor I had, and I like the, the size of it, so this is a, a nice beefy tire, um, but it still keeps a low profile, which I do like. I like my heat deflector shield down here. Another thing I like is this clear cut feature. So the blades will never come out on the end here. So from a safety perspective, that's pretty nice because you don't have to worry about your toes right here if you ever had your foot there, which I don't know why you would have your foot there. But if you did have your foot there, you wouldn't have to worry about losing your toes right there. And lastly, what I really love about it is that it's made in the good old USA. So you can't beat that. Now I know it might be a little early to say this, but I think I might love this mower. Uh, this will be what I'll be using this season. I don't have a, a bagger for it. I do plan to eventually get the bagger for it because I just have so many leaves around here. Um, so that'll be kind of a purchase in the fall time. I'm a big fan already. I like the build of it. I think it's solid. Uh, I'm excited to start using it. Everything I've seen on this one uh, says that the cut's great. So I'm looking forward to cutting with it. If you like what I'm up to, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that like button. I appreciate all the support I've gotten. Other than that, Suburbia Dad out.